In this video, I'm going to be reviewing an art book that was designed for animators, but it's surprisingly helpful if you're just learning how to draw. Hey guys, Craig here, back for another installment of Art Book Review. And this month's art book review is going to be on the art of Preston Blair. A few weeks back, I got a question from one of my subscribers asking me how I learned to draw and if I could recommend any good books for beginners. The book that I'm about to review is probably one of my favorite drawing instructional books of all time. And it's probably the one that I get the most use out of even to this day. The book is called Animation One and it features the artwork of Preston Blair. Let's check it out. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the name Preston Blair, he was a world-renowned animator throughout the 50s, 60s, and 70s. His animation credits include movies like Fantasia, where he designed and animated the hippos in the dancing hippo scene, as well as animated Mickey Mouse in the Sorcerer's Apprentice segment of the movie, which just happens to be my favorite part of that movie. He's also worked on movies like Pinocchio and Bambi, and in his later years, he teamed up with Hanna-Barbera to work on the Flintstones. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. His list of credits go on and on. Oddly enough, one of the things he's probably most well known for is the animator's hand page. I don't think there's a single cartoon artist who hasn't referenced this page at some point in their career. As far as cartoonists go, next to Glenn Keane, Preston is definitely my second favorite. This book walks you through all of the steps it takes to make great cartoon illustrations. From blocking characters out just using basic shapes, to refining them to the point of uncluttered perfection. This book has it all. And if drawing cute characters is your thing, you'll definitely get your money's worth in this book. One of the really great things about Animation One is that it was actually created for animators. In most how to draw books, when it comes to drawing characters, you're usually taught how to draw them using a turnaround. This teaches you how to draw a particular character from multiple perspectives. But since this book was created for animators, it teaches you how to draw characters that are walking, talking, and running, and jumping, which really helps you to better understand movement when drawing. One of the things that I love about animation artists is that they're so consistent. Traditional animators have a tendency to be far better illustrators than, say, children's book illustrators. And it's because they have to draw the exact same character over and over again in so many different poses from so many different perspectives. If you look at the walk cycle drawn by any seasoned professional animator, it's very unlikely that you'll find style variations from drawing to drawing. And that's because when you draw something so many times, it just becomes second nature. Although this book is extremely large in size, it's only about 45 pages, but the information you get in those 45 pages is second to none. And that's what makes it a must for any art book library. Well, there you have it folks, short and sweet. One of my favorite drawing instructional books of all time, Animation One by Preston Blair. If you'd like to add this book to your own personal library, I have an affiliate link to it in the description below. And if you choose to use that link to purchase your book, not only do you get this incredible instructional drawing book, but you also, at no extra cost to you, help to support my channel, which allows me to continue making this type of free content for you. So for that, I thank you. Also, be sure to let me know in the comments section below what your favorite drawing instructional books are, in any style. You can never have too much reference, so I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to see more of my art book reviews, I'll have a link to my art book review playlist at the end of this video. And if you'd like to learn more about my drawing technique, then check out my video on how to draw and paint in Adobe Illustrator. I'll put a link to it right here. Until next time, take care.